Hi, I'm Rachel Barton Pine. And I'm Sylvia. And we're going to tell you all about piece number three from Music by Black Composers, Violin Volume 1. It's The Old Boy by Ignatius Sancho, composed in 1767. But first, we're going to tell you a little bit about the composer. Ignatius Sancho was born in 1729 on the slave ship off the coast of Guinea in West Africa and was taken to the Spanish colony of New Granada in South America. He was sent to England when he was two years old, where he was freed when he was a young man after his enslaver died. He became the first black composer in history to have his music published. If you want to learn more about him, there's a longer biography in the sheet music book, and you can find the bullets, um, the bullet points that we just told you um, in the resources section of our website, musicbyblackcomposers.org, where you can also find the slide that you've just been looking at. Also, I should let you know that Ignatius Sancho is one of the 40 composers featured in our coloring book of black composers. So alongside learning the piece by him, you can actually color a picture of him and um, you can even have him watch you practice <laughs> after you've colored him, which is really fun. Okay, so the title, The Old Boy, does that mean um, a boy with an old soul? Does it mean a, a youth, like maybe a teenager? Or does it mean an old man who's young at heart? What do you think, Sylvia? Well, I think it's an old man who is young at heart and somehow um, got his life back into the world and is now like really happy, dancing around, really happy. Well, speaking of dancing, this piece is a jig. It's in 6-8 time. And I love that it's in 6-8 time because you know we have that wonderful twinkle variation, strawberry, blueberry, or whatever words you like to use, um, triple it, triple it, and yet in the Suzuki series you don't actually get a piece in 6-8 until all the way in book four with the Sites Concerto. So it's wonderful to have some 6-8 stuff earlier on. Of course there are lots of 6-8 pieces in other violin traditions like the jigs from um, Ireland or Scotland and it's no coincidence that we also have jigs from England because everybody all over the British Isles liked to jig. So um, Practicing your strawberry, blueberry, twinkle variation is the perfect prep for being able to do this piece well. And um, the only other thing to keep in mind, besides, of course, string crosses and things, um, is vibrating, if you are vibrating, the dotted quarters at the end of each line. So, um, and there are, gosh, only a couple of little places where you would hold fingers down. The first is in measure two with your third finger. Sorry, with your second finger. Um, if you could play that for me, please, Sylvia. Yep. And then measure nine and measure 11 are the exact same measure. Um, and you can hold your one down. Yeah, it would be pretty weird if you didn't hold your one down because then you'd have to put it down three times. That'd be a lot of extra work. But if you put it down once and you just leave it there, and then hop your three over, a lot less trouble. Actually, if you look at the way this piece is structured, um, for the first four measures, the first and third of them are the exact same measure. For the second line, the first and third measure are the exact same measure. And for the third line, guess what? The first and third measure are the exact same measure. <laughs> so that, um, that way, um, there are actually a few less measures to learn than it looks like at first glance. Okay, um, well, let's just play the first violin part and show people how it goes. Um, one thing to keep in mind is to keep your bow arm nice and loose so that you don't end up getting scrunchy. Or... You want to have a nice open elbow. It's only mezzo forte and you want to have a, a ringing tone. One, two, three, ready, go.
Okay, now the violin two part for the first two lines is the exact same rhythm as the violin one part, but then it does something totally different in the last line, this really jiggy rhythm. Bum, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum. And that's exactly how you should play it. It shouldn't be staccato, because then that would be a little too stern for the character of the piece. And it shouldn't be legato, because then it wouldn't dance. But it has to have a little space after the quarters, but not after the eighth. So in other words, stop and play and play. Exactly. You almost feel like your bow is dancing along. Uh, there are some tricky finger holding down things in the second violin part. If you're at the stage in your playing where you would be holding fingers down across strings, you can start by holding the very first note, the second finger, um, um, starting in measure one. Uh, can you show them, Sylvia? And that goes all the way to the beginning of measure three. And then it gets even more complicated in measure five. You can hold your one down, and I thought you could hold it down for a few bars, but Sylvia actually pointed something out, which I had missed. Watch this. Okay, well, before we do, let's also talk about the fourth finger. We've got an octave, and octaves are hard enough to get in tune, but why get them in tune more times than you need to, right? So if you put your four down and keep it down um, in measure six, then you don't have to put it down again in measure eight. Um, and your one, let's see how long the one stays down. Watch this little trick. So it basically, the one stays down for those whole two lines if you if you want to do that. And then the tricky note for intonation is measure 10 with that high three. Kind of squeezing right in there next to the four. Okay, let's show them the second violin part. One, two, three, ready, play. tips that you want to share, please be sure to include them in the comments or send them my way. Um, and now we're going to play the whole piece for you with both violin parts. Which one do you want to play? Well, I don't really know. I like the first part, but I want to do that big one holding down thing. Hmm. Well, why don't you play the first violin part? That way you can give the cue. How does that sound? it, which is the second violin part between measures three and four. Hold your three down 
And then, there it is. Finding places to hold fingers down is like a really fun game or something, right? It's more fun than, than a puzzle, I think. Okay, well, thanks for watching, and I hope you have fun learning and practicing The Old Boy by Ignatius Sancho. See you next time.